What I'd like to demonstrate today is the use of Coot with Gemin McClure restraints. The way I've done that is to provide a demonstration file. You can find that by going to the LMB Coot webpage and then going to auxiliary files and then the a file here called gmchaindemo.pdb. Download that and put it where you can find it. So I've already done that and it's here. I'm going to fire up my coot. First of all, let's load the tutorial data. There we go. And let's use the display manager to undisplay or actually delete the difference map and uh, undisplay the model that comes with um, the tutorial data. We're going to load in our file that we just downloaded. Here we go. Um, now we're going to ask Curlew to provide a couple of extra functions if we haven't downloaded them already. So expand map radius and refinement tools. Refinement tools has provided this extra menu here Expand Map Radius has uh, activated the uh, brackets, the bracket keys, the square brackets, I should say, um, on the keyboard. And so when I type them, they change the way the map or the radius at which the map is represented. What I'm going to do now is to change the sharpening of the map, well, in fact, the blurring to 66.7. Uh, the way the molecule moves depends on that blurring factor. You might like to try different values later on. So now we have a model and a map that doesn't, that are not well correlated. If I scroll forward, control shift for, sh forward scroll, I can change the representation and you can see it's the alphas and it doesn't well fit. There's quite a difference between the model and the map. If I were to try to fit this with rigid body, let's see what happens. So calculate modeling rigid body fit molecule. And I'm going to choose the this demonstration file here and say OK. And you can see it doesn't move very much. The rigid body refinement doesn't get the right solution. But hopefully the Gibbon McClure uh, restraints will adjust the refinement um, so that uh, it does. Let's try refinement without Gibbon McClure restraints. Uh, so let's go to map, do the normal thing, set the weight, and then we do refine, chain refine. You can see it distorting and morphing, going into the local minimum, but not really moving around the molecule. You can see that these strands have gone into, well, the strands of the model have gone into the strands of the map, but generally speaking, it's not a good fit overall. I'm going to recheck that. Now we're going to turn on the restraints. Calculate modules, restraints, restraints, generate self restraints. Uh, so the target distances are those of the reference model. Uh, for a more sophisticated um, set of distance restraints, one would use ProSmart. But for now, uh, for this example, we can use self-restraints. So 5 means 5 angstrom. Uh, that is the uh, cutoff for the distance of what's considered the local environment. Oh, bang the desk. Right, so click on that and we get this mesh of extra distance restraints. So let me go to full atom mode. You can see that they are distances between atoms in the local environment. Okay, I find it easier to understand if I undisplay them and just remember that they're there. And I'm going to turn it back into C alpha mode. Um, next, we are going to set the weight. So I'm going to choose 0.1. You might like to try other values later. Um, with that in place, we can do refine, chain refine. And there, there it goes. 
It found the right solution. Okay, I'm going to press Control Z so that we go back. And I'm going to demonstrate that again with uh, all atom mode. It looks slightly different. Refine, chain refine. You can see it more clearly, perhaps swishing and swaying and deforming as the refinement goes on. There, you can see that there's local changes that are happening. It's not a rigid body. So one more thing, you might like to see what happens when um, I change the weight. So back again, back to where we were, uh, refine, set it to 0 0.01 this time, and refine, chain, refine. And this time, you can see it, I hope you can see, it's moving more as a rigid body, but there's still some swishing and swaying and local deformations that are available in this mode. There we go. That's really what I wanted to show you. The Gimmin McClure restraints uh, and working on a chain. Um, often one doesn't use a whole chain. Uh, you would be looking, working on a local area, but it works, as you can see, for larger areas too.